today we will be making a self-portrait. With our self-portrait, we're also going to create a patterned frame or border around our portrait. You'll start with a piece of paper, and on this piece of paper you'll write your name and then flip your paper over so your name is on the back. We'll be drawing with a pencil today, and with everything that you draw, begin really lightly just in case you make a mistake and you need to erase. We'll start by drawing a large oval in the center of our page to be the shape of our head. Your head is like an oval or an egg shape. And then we'll begin to draw our eyes. Your eyes are about halfway down from the top of your head. To draw your eyes, draw a football shape, kind of like an oval laying on its side but with pointed cor corners. Underneath the top line of my eye shape, I'm going to make another line that exactly mirrors it. This is going to create the eyelid above your eye. Next, I'll draw two circles in my eyes. One circle will be larger, which is the iris, or the colored part of my eye. And then the second circle will be smaller, which will be the black part, or the pupil, of my eye. Next, I'll draw my eyelashes. If you want longer eyelashes, you'll generally look more feminine or like a girl. If you have shorter eyelashes, usually you look more masculine or like a boy. You can draw whichever kinds of eyelashes you would like. Next I'll draw my nose. The nose is halfway between where your eyes are and where the bottom of your head or your chin is. To draw my nose, I draw a curving shape and then two other curving shapes right next to it and two lines leading up towards the eyes. Next I'll draw my eyebrows above my eyes. To do this, I draw simple curving lines to create a curving shape. Now it's time to draw the mouth. To draw the mouth, I'll put two lines underneath my nose for that little dip that's above your mouth, and then I'll start to draw the top lip. And the top lip kind of looks like the letter M, I'll draw a line in the center for where my lips come together, and then a curving line underneath that for the bottom lip. Now I can make any corrections that I need to, like fixing my head shape or any other things I might need to erase or correct. Now I can draw my ears. With my ears, they begin in line with my eyes and then they end in line with my nose. The inside of the ear is just an echo line or a mirror of the outside of the ear. Next I'll draw my neck. If I go to my pupil, the center of my eye, draw an imaginary line down in my mind, then I can find where my neck goes. I'll bring these lines out towards the edges of the paper to be the shoulders. I can draw a curving line under the neck for the shirt. and a curving line under the mouth for the chin. Next, we'll talk about how to draw your hair. Drawing your hair can be difficult because everybody's hair looks different, so there's no one way to tell you how to draw your hair. But the way that I start to draw the hair is to think about where my part is. My part's on the side of my head, so I use that as a guideline for where to begin my hair shape. Think about the general shape of your hair. Does your hair go around your head? Is it flat on your head? Do you have curly hair? 
or straight hair. If you have curly hair, you probably want to use curving lines. If you have straight hair, you probably want to use straight lines to draw your hair. You'll notice I drew my hair above the top of my head because your hair is actually lifting up off the top of your head. Then I can just erase that line that was there for the top of my head. Next I'll draw some lines into this. This is going to be the curving lines in my hair because you don't have just one hair, you have many hairs on top of your head. My portrait is finished, so now I can begin to create my patterned border or frame around my portrait. Remember, a pattern is two different things that are repeating each other. So for example here, I have a square and a diamond shape, then square, then diamond shape. If I just did all squares or all diamonds, it's no longer a pattern. So make sure you have two different things that you're repeating for your pattern. Next, you can outline your whole self-portrait in a black crayon. I'm not outlining my border or anything else, I'm just outlining my self-portrait because that's the part I really want to stand out. When you outline something, you're just redrawing everything again, but this time with a black crayon, that way everything really stands out from the page. Now you can color your self-portrait using your crayons. 